I have accumulated this basket of makeup for Makeup Mondays and I thought I would share it with you guys so you can get excited. Maybe a little peek in here. There's a lot of goodies that I want to try out. So today we're going to go in this basket and we're going to just pick some stuff out from the stash. I mainly want to find my new Wet n Wild collection because I just want to review this for you guys since it just came out. It's like this really cute cherry collection and there was quite a few things in here. have all of the products that I'm gonna be trying out on my little filming table we have some clean brushes let's go ahead and get started hey pretties welcome back to another makeup Monday video if you don't know me my name is Tanya and I film all kinds of pink girly beauty fashion and lifestyle videos on this channel so if that's something you're into make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and push bell notifications so you don't miss any of my videos before we get started I just want to remind you guys to stay hydrated I have my water right here and I also want to thank Living Lotus for sponsoring today's makeup Monday video so this is an amazing water bottle that I've been using daily recently because in Texas it is a hundred degrees outside and this is the only thing that keeps my water cold all day no matter where I go even if I leave this in my car it is so impressive so I actually put ice and water in this last night and it is still cold all the way from last night yep still freezing and I actually make it a goal of mine to drink a full one of these every single day you guys know that beauty starts with what we intake and you know that includes drinking tons of water to keep your skin and everything as hydrated as possible keep your hair growing keep your nails growing we are kind of like plants you want an amazingly insulated bottle that's just going to keep your water cold all day long i would highly recommend this living lotus bottle i'm going to link it down below i got the rose gold one they also have it in gold just it's beautiful it has a little logo right here so on the flip side if you want it for maybe coffee camping even insulated bottle to keep your coffee warm basically it doesn't just keep your beverages and stuff cold it can also keep them warm living lotus is a small business and you guys know i love supporting small businesses They're on my channel so this is just a friendly reminder to support your small businesses and also to stay hydrated so you can live life to the fullest let you guys see another reason why my skin has you know have had some really good moments this summer also because i've been staying hydrated and drinking my water and my lotus bottle just you know it helps me take care of that and you know get that chore done because to me honestly drinking water is not my favorite thing to do i'd rather have like a coffee so it's more like a chore to drink water and then whenever my water gets hot it just I get discouraged so it's really nice to have this and you know to be able to keep my water cool all day long especially when it's 100 degrees outside you guys we are actually gonna go float the river in austin this weekend and i am definitely taking this <laughs> with that being said i'm going to link my living lotus bottle down below in the description box let's go ahead and get started with today's video today's video we have some new products at the drugstore and i could not pass these up look how cute these are like I ordered these on the Target website actually, so I'm going to link everything down below. So this is what they look like. I don't know if they're available like in stores yet. Um, all the information will be overlaying on the screen though, like the date that it's available, if it's available already, what stores they're available in, just because I'm not too informed on that. So yeah, everything will be overlaying on the screen as well as in the description box. We did have three different ones. I only got the chocolate, like the chocolate products and the cherry products because those are the ones that i was intrigued by my nose is itching but yeah we have the wet and wild my cherry amour palette this is what she looks like the packaging is so cute it's pink and red can can we not like it's adorable i don't know what it's been with me and like cherries lately i love anything cherry it is a close-up of the palette right here in love with cocoa palette cocoa 
in love with cocoa and this one's definitely more of like your neutrals so yeah i'm not gonna ramble too much about the products we have a lot of things to test out today so let's just go ahead and get started so i am gonna take my elf putty eyeshadow primer i do want to continue to test this eyeshadow primer out because it's just i really liked it with the elf eyeshadow so i want to see if i'm gonna like it with these other eyeshadows as well some of that on my finger and apply it I also noticed that it made my eyeshadow stay on pretty well so and just so you guys know the putty primer doesn't give you a tacky base or anything like that I just want you guys to know this is not sticky or tacky at all it dries down completely to a smooth finish I'm really gonna go in with the cherry amore palette just because we already did a neutral look for last makeup Monday so I will be swatching these shadows and we might use a couple of them in here but we're mainly going to be using the cherry one. I'm going to take a bling brush in E24. This is the page set. I really like the set. Obviously I use it all of the time. I'm going to take this color right here. It's like a peachy color. just want to put that all over the crease. Ooh, that's a lot of pigment so that's a good sign. Okay, I do notice some of it like kicking up but it is pigmented as you guys can see. Apply this on both eyes okay so that was fairly easy to blend I did have to go in twice with the color just to build up like this pigment it is pigmented off the bat but I just feel like it's also buildable so again it's a good beginner friendly palette if you don't want to be intimidated by like a lot of pigment at once I feel like they're coming out with really good quality shadows at the drugstore now like I have not been disappointed not even with like the elf shadows so I figured that I would have like a good a good review about these just because they looked really good like even on the pan so I mean hopefully it's consistent throughout like even the darker tones because I am gonna try some of the darker tones the color right here it's really annoying that these don't have shade names um, oh well there's like shade names on the back I guess to refer to it's like one two three four five like it's like numbered so I guess we're gonna take number one which is this one or I'm not sure if I'm like looking at it backwards yeah I wish this had shade names even if it was just the numbers but yeah we're gonna take this color here to kind of deepen up that crease I'm going to take a little bit of a smaller little like crease brush this is by SL Miss Glam it is her eye brush in P02 deepen up the crease a little bit I'm just taking the same brush I used to apply the first color and I'm just blending this is giving me more peachy vibes than everything so I don't know why this is a cherry palette this actually is more peachy um, like these colors are coming out like really really warm once put together or like once on the eye and they are easy to blend as well and now I want to apply a lid shade I definitely want to go in with this pink here it's just like it's so beautiful we also have this one um, but I don't want my look to be too dark so we're gonna go in with this one which is this color here and I'm just gonna take that on my fingers to be honest it just it seems like these shadows sometimes are best applied with the fingers oh yes that's so pretty though this is like a pinky peachy like duochrome it's like gold and pink it's just really unique and pretty I feel like this is kind of very huda looking i feel like one of my huda beauty palettes has this kind of a color in it i'm not being too precise with it because we're gonna blend and of course there's no setting spray i'm just going directly in with my fingers very gorgeous wow i'm gonna do the other eye you guys see how quickly i did that so now we just have to blend obviously but i need to wipe these fingers <laughs> i just want to quickly mention i got these little Almay biodegradable oil free micellar eye makeup removing pads and these things are amazing i would really recommend them if you want like some quick little pads to remove your your eyeshadow like residue because I do use a makeup cleansing balm as I've mentioned before because I, I just don't recommend using makeup wipes every day because it tugs on the eyes it's rough it's not the best thing for your skin um, but whenever you just have that annoying like mascara residue or eyelash glue residue these are really really good to get that okay, I'm just gonna take that same little crease brush and I'm gonna use it to kind of blend in the crease just to make sure there's no harsh lines I really really love that I almost don't want to add anything but I do want to try like this deeper like burgundy color just because I feel like this turned out so peachy and not cherry 
so I kind of want to make it more cherry. Take this color here and then we will probably take this color and just deepen up the very outer corners like very lightly or we might use this just for the lash line. Actually I'm liking that more. We're probably just going to use this for the lash line. Burgundy color and just... I'm just going to very lightly put this in the crease like I'm literally tapping the smallest amount because these are pretty pigmented. And see the difference? It just kind of gives it a little bit more depth. Although, I will admit, it was already looking nice how it was, but I think this would just take it a notch up, if that makes sense. And I am bringing it all the way to the inner corner. I'm just kind of haloing it around that shimmer. Take the first brush we used for the transition color, and I'm just going to blend the outer edges neat little brush this is a look c 217 dark brown i showed you guys and we're just gonna put this on the lash line just as a base for my lashes i'm noticing about this palette is there's not really like a highlight shade like a brow bone highlight or inner corner highlight so we'll probably go in with the chocolate one for that technically you could use that pink in the inner corner i think that would look really pretty but since we already put it all over the eyelid i think we're gonna just use something different see the difference when you add that it just lines the eyes really pretty <laughs> i have no words <laughs> there we go i'm just gonna blend it a little so it's a little more smoky yesterday where are you some windows might have shattered just now okay so i have this little angled brush and i kind of want to take this really deep deep brown right here and i'm just gonna line the lashes i feel like this is such a good everyday palette you guys if it blends and works as well as the cherry one such a good little everyday palette i'm just gonna take the angled brush and we're just gonna push this on the lash line it's just gonna give a little more depth than that kind of maroon brown because that's more like of a plum brown more of like a deep true brown yeah i like that it kind of gave it a little more depth and then i'm gonna take that other little brush we used for the other maroon brown the same looksy brush and i'm just gonna blend a little bit apply some lashes and i'll be right back the lashes we're gonna be using is in the style melly for my company if you're new here i do have an eyelash company the lashes look like this they tie with a little bow and then you open them and it has my logo and then inside there's like glitter with the lashes there's no lashes in this box but usually when there's lashes in there you know there's they're like kind of tight around but this is what the inside looks like just quickly wanted to show you guys what the melly eyelashes look like they're just these really beautiful everyday kind of lash you guys can see these are very amazing little everyday kind of lash these look amazing even when you don't have a lot of eyeshadow on these are actually named after my mom and while i was putting that eyelash i remembered this time that we have a new mascara to try this is the voluminous lash paradise um, l'oreal mascara i hear amazing things about this even my mom loves this so i was just very excited to try this out and of course the packaging being pink is everything this literally looks like a Too Faced better than sex mascara a close-up of the packaging for you guys to enjoy here is what the wand looks like i tried on this other eye i probably should curl my lashes and let's apply it i just want to see what it would look like you know without any eyelashes i feel like that's the point of testing a mascara so Ooh, that made them look longer already okay I do like that the formula is not so wet with this one the elf one i tried in last makeup monday's video it was just really wet so i have like a love hate with that because i do like how it separates the lashes but it's just so wet i just i really like this formula a lot better to be honest it just gives a lot of volume and length at the same time i feel like i could have worn this look with no lashes to be honest because that's that's how pretty i feel like my eyelashes look right now me the biggest issue is that mascara tends to flake underneath my eyes so i really want to do a wear test throughout the day and see if it does that and i will probably update you guys at the end of the video i already did one eyelash so we're gonna go ahead and 
pop the other one on and then we will test this on the bottom lashes i just want to give you guys a little close-up of how that mascara looks definitely didn't make my eyes look spidery or anything or my eyelashes look spidery i feel like the elf one kind of did a little bit you have to be careful with it of course but this one they just look fluffier i feel like we are going to be moving on to the face so i have a couple of complexion products that were in this cherry collection of course they had these in the chocolates i want to say flavors but they're more like scents they had these in the chocolate scents as well but i just went for the cherry ones because they're pink they're cute we have the wet and wild my cherry amore primer serum and it looks like this very pretty this was five dollars basically this is claiming to be also skincare is what i'm reading so this says prep and nourish your face with the help of this nourishing two-in-one primer fused with the soothing power and delectable scent of honey this water-based primer serum is formulated with skin nourishing ingredients like rose water camellia leaf extract and green tea extract to help moisturize, refine, and improve the appearance of smoothness of skin. Lightweight and silky soft, this primer serum blurs imperfections while allowing foundation to glide on effortlessly for a luminous, flawless finish. Okay, so this has a very big, long paragraph. Talks about sweet cherry seed oil, like it's blended with sweet cherry seed oil. And it has vitamin E. This just sounds like a dream for my skin because I do have skin that's a little more on the dry side. I moisturize like crazy today. So next we have the Wet n Wild My Cherry Amore Spray. This is like a, 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 I guess a face mist is what it says. It's limited edition. And I guess this collection is called the Crush Collection. I mean, this is what this looks like. This says prep, set, and refresh your style while indulging in the sweet scent of cherries. This three-in-one face primer mist primes your skin with the first spray and sets makeup in place with the second while providing weightless hydration for any skin type infused with chamomile and cucumber extract to soothe and refresh the skin and green tea extract for its revitalizing antioxidant property this cherry stuff has a sweet cherry seed oil um this was five dollars and added on target and it has three stars so we'll see i guess but I've never tried a wet and wild spray and I've also never heard anything about wet and wild spray so I guess I don't have high hopes for it but I did want to try it because it's very cute. Shake it, I mean it doesn't say to shake it but I always shake all of my sprays. I just want to smell it. Okay just off the bat that mist is like one of the ones that attacks you I feel like so let, let's just... Yeah, this is definitely a chunkier mist. I prefer the mist on the e.l.f. one. It wasn't so, like, harsh. But it does smell like cherries. It smells really nice. Um, I don't know that I'm going to love this to set my makeup. Because whenever I use something that has, like, a more aggressive spray, I feel like it creates dots on my foundation. I don't know. I've had that happen before, so I'm a little scared. So that did feel hydrating. It smells really nice. I'm just... I'm just not sure about it. Does that make sense? Like, I don't... It's hard to review a spray unless you've used it a few times, I feel like. Let's go ahead and go in with the Wet n Wild My Cherry Amore Primer Serum. I'm very excited about this. Not only is it cute, the product looks so pretty in there. And <laughs> all of those claims, they sounded amazing. So, so this is water-based again. So it has like a little dropper. Ooh, it's very, very, very liquidy. It's like watery it's it has like an alcohol scent that's a little scary <laughs> it does smell like cherries it's very watery I, I feel like i'm putting water on my face i thought this was going to be more serum like like a little bit thicker sticky too that might be a good thing for foundation just be careful like mine just dripped all over my hands i didn't even recommend dripping this on your face like i'm just gonna show you how watery it is really quick look look ah it's like running so fast it is hydrating i will give it that it's very 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 hydrating but i did get a blemish after trying that elf the, like the elf makeup so like it was like a little pimple so i'm not sure and i did wash my face by the way like after at night and everything so i'm not sure if it was the primer or the cc cream so i'm going to continue to try those separately just to see which one broke me out because 
one of those two broke me out for sure so the good news is it did not stay on top of my skin it has a tacky feeling which might actually be a good thing because it means that it will probably help your foundation stay on so i'm not hating this so far i'm a little scared it might break me out because it smells like alcohol and it does have alcohol i'm reading the ingredients it says water glycerin alcohol okay so let's go in oh, i'm so excited for this let's go in with the believe beauty foundation i got two different colors here got natural tan and buff the color that will match me the best right now is buff um, natural tan is deeper. I think that will be my perfect shade when I'm tan, but for today we're gonna try the color buff I hear amazing things about this. It's only five dollars So to apply that we're gonna be using this new Sonia Kashuk filter makeup sponge It is latex free all of the Sonia Kashuk products 15% off at Target So I'm gonna link this down below. This just looked like it would work really good So I wanted to test this out. So have never seen anyone test out this sponge and it's only five dollars of course with the 15% off you get it for a little less so off the bat this is so like smooth okay I'm gonna go wet this um, I just thought it was kind of shocking this is cheaper than the elf one I really did love the elf one the fact that this is a dollar cheaper but it feels just as soft like I might switch to this one because I mean we're saving a dollar okay so I wet it and it got so much bigger like wow let me show you guys how squishy that it is it's very squishy we like it so far so let's go ahead and test out the foundation so this is the color buff for it being five dollars it's in a glass bottle and it has a pump and it's gold and it's really pretty this feels more expensive than it is this on Yes, this color is so good. I have a lot of trouble finding a color because I'm very neutral but medium. And I always tend to get foundations that are too yellowy or too warm for my skin. I'm gonna blend that in. Okay, so this is like sheer to medium coverage. Not that impressed. I feel like I should be more impressed because everybody hypes this up so much, but maybe I have high expectations because I've seen so many people hype it up. But we're gonna build it and we're gonna see how it looks. I mean, it definitely has a natural finish. By the way, I ordered the Catrice foundation and I am so excited to try it. So, yeah, it didn't completely cover my blemish. This is definitely like sheer to medium. Also, this sponge might be absorbing it. So I think I'm gonna also like try a brush. Another amount and we're gonna go in on this side, especially because I have the blemish on that side. I'm just gonna take a foundation brush. This is just like a random brush. Um I don't even remember where I got these, but I believe you can find these brushes on AliExpress and Amazon. So I'm just gonna do this. Ooh, okay, I like how it applies better. Still medium coverage. Like, we're not getting that much more coverage. Because you can still see my blemish through through it, if that makes sense. I feel like the brush makes it look more airbrushed, if that makes sense. So I don't think the sponge was necessarily absorbing too much of it. I think, I think it just kind of, like, the finish is better with the brush, if that makes sense. I do want to try to build it with the sponge on this side, just because I just want to see and make sure that it's not the sponge. Okay, we went from sheer to about medium coverage. Do really like the finish of the foundation, I have to say. It's very natural, your skin, but better, which you guys know I do like. Taking what's left over on my forehead, I don't like too much product on my forehead. I think I say that a lot, but <laughs> too much foundation on your forehead can look very cakey and i do have little like a little line that creases if i put too much foundation so i avoid that okay i'm still liking the finish a little more with the brush but it did build up with the sponge so i think that the sponge is not really the issue i think the foundation is just medium coverage like you can only build it to medium coverage i'm not sure the claims on this foundation oh yeah it says medium to full coverage i'm not getting full coverage out of this but i guess we can try to build it one more time where my blemish is and see if we can get it to cover that let's keep in mind it is five dollars so you may have to work with it a little bit you know I'm still not getting that blemish fully covered. I feel like it covered it more, but I'm not the kind of person that wants to sit there and apply four layers of foundation. So 
I'm just gonna call this medium coverage and call it a day. Okay, so here's a close-up of the foundation. Again, the finish is very natural, but you can still see my little like beauty marks and my blemish here. I cannot give it the full coverage badge. I just can't. This is medium coverage, sheer to medium. Okay, so I do not have a new concealer, so I'm just gonna go in with my trusty Too Faced Born This Way. taking the e.l.f. halo glow powder i really like this powder so we're just gonna continue to use it i just i like how it looked with the e.l.f. concealer and i'm just curious to see if i'm gonna love it with other concealers especially my favorite Too faced one bling brush in f22 from the page set sets and i'm not using any cream contour products because i want to test out that cocoa bronzer on its own i just want you guys to be able to see what it does without anything underneath it, you know? Just give a true review. Oh yeah, this halo powder is just amazing. I would highly recommend this halo powder by e.l.f. So we're gonna go ahead and take the next product. This is the Wet n Wild In Love With Cocoa Face Palette. Is this like a matte? No, this is a highlighter. Okay, so this is like a highlighter and a bronzer. It is, and that's what it looks like. That bronzer looks like a really like good shade a little warm so this is definitely gonna be bronzy i guess i don't i'm not mad at it because it is summer so i'm gonna take this duo fiber Luxie brush this is a 508 i'm gonna dip into that bronzer whenever something is bronzy i do like to use these kinds of brushes to bronze i'm not going for like a super contoured look it's more bronzy this foundation the more it's setting i'm liking it more i feel like it it really looks very smooth on my skin. I guess I'm kind of starting to see the hype. Looks nice, like it's not cakey. It may not be full coverage like it claims, but it is a nice finish. So there we got some pigment. So <laughs> yeah, I feel like I was being like a little bit scared because I know Wet n Wild <laughs> can be very pigmented. It's a nice color. It's definitely very warm. If you don't like warm like bronzers, you won't like this. Taking it on my temples. I always like taking it on my temples. I don't really bronze my forehead. I just do my temples. <laughs> All the products are blending really well on top of this foundation, so that's a good sign. The foundation looks smooth and nice, so I'm guessing the primer did what it was supposed to do. Blending down that bronzer down the neck. Looks nice. It doesn't look patchy. I'm going to take a little, like, uh, this is a Luxie 520. It's like a tapered face brush, and I just want to use that to kind of do Fine, the cheeks a little bit okay not bad i like that i am gonna go ahead and take the cherry amore face palette blushes inside of it as you can see very pretty packaging the way i just noticed all of these products they smell this one smells like chocolate this one smells just like cherries that's amazing i can't believe i hadn't noticed it before now i want to smell the eyeshadows the eyeshadow smell it's like not as strong this is very strong like cherries like as soon as i opened it it was like Whew. um but it does smell slightly like cherries and these slightly smell like chocolate as well so that's pretty awesome i'm gonna take the warmer one this just will match my eyeshadow a bit more and i'm just gonna take that on a little looksy angled brush this is a 504 I'm just gonna I'm going to start small because this might be pigmented. Yeah, very pigmented. All of the Wen Wild like face products are super pigmented. I know because I've tried them in the past. I feel like this blush is a little dry, like the formula. It feels silky when I touch it, but on my face it like dragged a little bit. But maybe that's just my, my skin, you know. It did blend. This looks very peachy, very flushed. And we're going to go ahead and... <laughs> in with this i'm a little bit scared but let's just do it i'm holding it really far away so i can get more of the finer mist and it's not like a big old like streak on my face that seemed to do the trick i mean there's still like i don't know if you can see like little droplets on my forehead but it's not bad but i did have to hold it really far away so I would highly recommend you do that. The camera's being complicated, so I went ahead and did my brows while I allowed it to cool because it overheated. So I'm gonna take the highlighting color inside of this little cocoa palette. It looks like it's gonna be a nice, like, sheen, like, more soft. It doesn't have any, like, crazy glitter or anything. 
yeah this is definitely a softer highlight so if you're not into that you won't like this it is pretty though it's very subtle i actually do like it i like more subtle highlights which i've told you guys daily wear i prefer more subtle highlights also i'm gonna go ahead and finish up the eyes apply a little like concealer i got this because this girl juicy jazz on youtube always raves about this and i have very annoying under eyes this is by bare minerals it's called well rested and you could just put this on top of your like powder like that you use to set your face and it just brightens underneath i have used this a couple of times and i do like it so far so as you can see it just you can apply more the more you apply the brighter that it gets is what she said um but you can definitely see like a difference impressive is it doesn't dry out my under eyes okay, so i'm gonna go ahead and do underneath my eyes i'm just taking a look see uh, 213 brush and I'm gonna go back in with the cherry palette and I'm literally just gonna take the colors we used in the crease and I'm gonna pop those underneath and we'll be right back I'll be back I'm gonna take this little wet and wild brush this is a P15 and I'm gonna go into the chocolate palette I want to use that like shimmery color in here so it's this color right here we're just gonna pop that on the brow bone and the inner corner okay it's definitely subtle it's not as intense as I thought it would be but it does highlight it's just subtle though it looks way nicer on the brow bone I feel like go ahead and spray some of the spray like, one more time I actually don't hate it but it is quite small but i mean it's only five dollars so i'm gonna go ahead and do my bottom lash mascara really quick with the lash paradise by l'oreal which we know i did really like it's a little big for the bottom lashes but i mean it's doable and they do look nice you just have to be very careful with it all right guys so we're down to the lips so i do have two new lipsticks these are the wet and wild cloud pout marshmallow lip mousse I'm going with the nude of course i feel like this pink will be beautiful but maybe for a different look let's watch it for you guys that's actually Ooh, these smell so good they literally smell like marshmallows this color is not as intimidating as it actually looks like on on the outside of the tube okay so these are definitely very moussey okay so here are the two colors the peachy one is in the color cloud chaser pink one is in the color cotton candy so i'm gonna apply some lip liner i don't have any new lip liners and i'll be right back So for lip liner, I use Spice by MAC. The lid is like really soft, by the way. Just love how that smells. Really pretty. Very moussey. A little streaky, but nothing you can't just blend in. Yeah, very pretty. I feel like without the lip liner, it wouldn't look good on its own. I feel like you definitely need lip liner with these. But I use lip liner regardless anyways. It's like a satiny finish. I wonder if it's gonna like dry down at all. But yeah, this is the look. So while we wait on that to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and do an overview of all the products. Um, we'll begin with the shadow. I feel like the shadows are really good for only being $5. Like I think most of the products I purchased were $5 from Wet n Wild. But yeah, for only being $5, I feel like these are actually decent. They're really good. They have a bit of kick up, not too much. I feel like the e.l.f. Bite Size Duos had way more kick up than these. I had to build them a lot more than these. These were a lot more like pigmented, like off the bat, but they're still not super pigmented. They're still buildable. But just comparing them to the e.l.f. Bite Size Duos, um, yeah, these definitely have more like pigment off the bat. And uh, yeah, they blend easily, just as easily as the e.l.f. Bite Size Duos. Um, again, a little bit of kick up, but not too much. For $5, Honestly, you can't beat it. I mean, we came up with this look with this, so I mean, that should speak all for itself. To these palettes, I'll admit they're not my favorite, um, but they also are not bad. Like, I feel like my bronzer looks nice. I mean, it's not the typical color I would go for. I typically like a more neutral like color on my cheeks. But this is a color I would use to bronze. One thing I do have to mention is the pan size is a little awkward. Actually, like, kind of be careful to, like, pinch the brush to get the product because it's just awkward because it'll dip into the other color. You use a little angled brush, I mean, that fits a lot better. But when it comes to a bronzer, I do like a fluffier brush, especially since this is so 
warm. I feel like with a angled brush, it might just concentrate too much oranginess on the cheek. You have to wither it out when it's like a warm color or else you're just gonna look orange. So yeah, again, it's not a bad color. I would wear it again. Also not my favorite. So when it comes to the blushes, like I said, I mean, I don't know. I didn't feel like they... I feel like I had to kind of work to blend them, to be honest. But they are pretty. They are pigmented. Again, only $5. You get two colors. And they are they are pretty. They're, they're silky. I mean... I mean, I just feel like I did have to work a little to blend them, though. The spray, I feel like the spray is okay as well. I would, I would you, oh, I would reach for it again, except I already broke the lid <laughs> just by trying to close it. I don't know how that happened just now, but yeah, I would reach for this again. It smells great. I don't know. I'm not a fan of the sprayer, but if you hold your hand out far enough, you're good to go and it was $5. I think one of my favorite things in here, although it does contain alcohol, was this. I'm just hoping it doesn't break me out. I did like how it made my skin look. I liked the tackiness. So I didn't like how liquidy it was as it was a little hard to work with. You know, aside from the eyeshadow palettes, which I think were my favorite, I did really like this. Like this is like second place basically. Just from the Wet and Wild wild crush collection that I'm talking about. Now let's speak about the foundation a little bit. So again not full coverage but it's a beautiful finish i think we'll be wearing this again i feel like it feels so lightweight on the skin it looks really nice it looks flawless on the skin as well i also don't mind the medium coverage i'm not really a full coverage girl to be honest like i don't mind full coverage but i don't need full coverage i do like a medium coverage i don't mind my beauty marks poking through but if you're trying to cover acne with this this is not going to work um the halo setting powder just, just go get this already like just go get it already and as far as these they've been sitting on my lips for a little while now and i don't think that these dry down you know moussey on the lips it's very comfortable though uh, very wearable I feel like because the moussiness allows you to sheer it out. That's kind of my thoughts. Again, these are very inexpensive, but I do like how they work. Are these gonna be my favorite lippies ever? No, but I would reach for them again to be honest just for the the color selection is really nice and they are comfortable on the lips. Now, whether they'll be long wearing, I am very doubtful about that just because it's not really drying down. <laughs> Definitely not gonna be kiss proof. Hey guys, so it has been all day. I'm not even kidding you. It's been about eight hours. <laughs> to be completely honest, I just woke up from a nap. I was out all day and it's hot outside and I just felt so drained and tired by the time I got home that I fell asleep for a couple hours and I'm kind of impressed that this foundation like is still on my face and the only place where it has disappeared is my nose i do have very bad summer allergies so i was rubbing my nose a bit so i don't know if i can technically blame the foundation because i feel like maybe if i hadn't touched my nose it would have been okay i do have fine lines under my eyes that's the truth most things do tend to crease under there to be honest um i don't think i've ever found anything magical that doesn't ever crease i feel like it's just like you have to find that right combination of products so i don't know if i can even blame any of these products um it could also be that it was just a hot day but like i said i am gonna keep testing all of these products out give you guys updates um i feel like it did wipe off a little on this side that might be because of my nap just like right here it looks a little strange i might give you guys a little close-up but this is what I look like after 8 hours of using this foundation, of wearing this makeup. The eyeshadow stayed on flawlessly. I'm really loving this e.l.f. putty eyeshadow primer, you guys. Okay, so here's a little closer look at my face. Like I told you guys, this side, I think I slept on it. So, yeah, but this side looks amazing. Um, it's gone on my nose a little bit. The eyeshadow looks phenomenal. Um, I did use my Benefit brow pencil today, so it stayed on. I always know that stays on. The lipstick, however, I'm wearing a different lipstick because I forgot to take the Wet n Wild one. And the Wet n Wild one was gone about a couple hours in, so it's not very long wearing. It never actually dried down. So yeah, I thought I would let you guys know. It's a pretty color, but you get what you pay for with that lip product, I feel like. Although it's beautiful, it smells great, it's very comfortable to wear, it's just not long-lasting. Guys, that's everything. Alright guys, so that is everything for today's Makeup Monday video. I hope you enjoyed me trying out all of these products. If you have any 
product recommendations for the next makeup monday video just leave it down below in the comment section um if you stayed until the end leave me some cherry emojis i love you guys and i will see you in the next one bye